It was recently revealed that the house ethics committee, which of course is run by Republicans because they control the house, but it was revealed that the house ethics committee has reopened their investigation into Matt Gates's conduct. Even though back in February of this year, the DOJ announced that they would not be bringing any charges against Matt Gates. Now we all know what the DOJ was investigating Matt Gates for, right? We had the Venmo payments. We had the parties where witnesses say he was doing a lot of drugs. He was meeting underage girls at the party, sending them money on Venmo. Those were some of the allegations against Matt Gates. Um, and it also alleged of course, that he had gone across state lines with a 17 year old. And so a lot of really shady behavior and witnesses that corroborated all of these stories. And of course the receipts, the Venmo receipts. So, you know, <laughs> some of it at least happened because the receipts were there. So we know he did send money, but he claims it was just helping out some, some friends or people he knew, whatever. Uh, and the DOJ decided not to prosecute. So that makes it all the more weird that the house ethics committee, again, run by Republicans has decided that they are reopening their investigation. Now here's what they've, uh, what's been reported anyway. Investigators from the house ethics committee have begun reaching out to witnesses as part of a recently revived investigation into representative Matt Gates of Florida focused on allegations that he may have engaged in sexual misconduct, illicit drug use, or other misconduct. A source familiar with the house panel's work told CNN that the justice department's decision not to bring charges against Gates does not impact what the committee will and won't investigate. The committee plans to examine the same allegations they were looking into when they opened the investigation in 2021, which of course was when Democrats controlled the house committee. But why, why now? Why suddenly this is weird, right? The DOJ was doing the real investigation that actually carried criminal penalties. The house ethics committee cannot send Matt Gates to jail. They can't even convict him. So what's the point of this? This is all highly suspicious to me. And there's a couple possibilities about what's happening. So let's talk about it. Uh, first and foremost, this could be a complete sham investigation by the Republicans to look into it and then declare that Matt Gates is the most honest and clean person we've ever seen in our lives. We love him. He's great. We looked at it ourselves. He's totally clear and free to go. Uh, that would be option number one as to why Republicans are doing this to one of their own. Option number two, and this is also very likely Matt Gates is a thorn in the side of the Republican establishment, right? He's a member of the far right freedom caucus and the freedom caucus has basically been attempting to usurp power from establishment Republicans like house speaker, Kevin McCarthy. So this investigation could be a way to say, you know what? Gates is outspoken, even though he's only been there for, you know, six years, which really in the span of Congress isn't a long time. Um, he's got power for some reason. Uh, we need to dilute his power, take him down a couple notches, maybe get him out of the house altogether because he's screwing us over. So why don't we investigate him and see if we can come to different conclusions than what the DOJ came to. So that's option number two. Option number three is the least likely. And that is maybe these people grew a conscience. Maybe they realized that the DOJ mishandled this entire investigation. You had multiple witnesses, as I said, who corroborated these stories against Matt Gates. They provided evidence. They literally provided receipts and the DOJ said no. So maybe there's a small chance that a conscience developed amongst some of the members on the house ethics committee. I seriously doubt it, but that would be option number three. Those are the only three to me that even make any sense whatsoever considering the fact that the DOJ made the decision not to charge him. The ethics committee cannot charge him. So why would Republicans bring this investigation against one of their own, unless it was to get him out of office or to run a sham investigation and try to exonerate him completely. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.